Okay, hello everyone. I am Potato Faker, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a normal playthrough, going through just normal in this video for the assassin. Just a heads up, my load screens are kind of long, so I will do my best not to talk through those. That way you can skip ahead. Good day. So, this is single player, so I will be hopefully remembering to change the player difficulty. To do that, enter to talk slash players, make sure it's plural, space, and then a number between 1 and 8. 8 being the most difficult. One being easy. If you're doing a boss like you know, Enderio, Diablo, things like that, make sure you're doing it on players one. If you're killing things really easily, change it up to players eight. If you're doing Countess, make sure it's players one. I'll just start off on players three for now. So I will be playing as the Trapsin. So you start off with Fire Blast, work him to wake up fire. Especially in normal mode, this is just kind of overpowered with how crazy it is, but Tusk Shield, you don't want to block too much, you get uses up too many animations. These guys don't do enough damage yet. Strangling gas potions are really nice to keep. Especially for this classic character. So I'll be doing fire damage. And the Countess is fire enchanted. So she'll have some resistance to fire. So it's always nice to have. So we just want to kill as much as we can by the time we get out of the blood more we want to be at least level two we were also hoping for some items that'll give us some gold we'll be wanting to buy some mana potions and, and uh, stamina potions so as I mentioned before we want to point the fire blast First point, we'll put in the vitality. You can press shift, and that will put all your points remaining into that skill, or into that stat. Or you can hit control, to hit, uh, input five at a time, or you can click individually. Uh, one thing to note, it still shows I have uh, points to spend, so it's still got the red. That's because if I press Alt, I can reset my skills. I will not be doing that through this playthrough. I'll use a car for that. This was just for testing, and I forgot to disable it. So, past splits, one will head to the Den of Evil, the other to the Cold Plains. So, I'll put a TP up. And continue on to the waypoint. This way, we don't have to do a bunch of backtracking. Land some, drop something useful. Let's see if I can emulate. Trying obviously really nice for maybe it's 90 seconds. It will give you 500% experience, which is definitely nice. Now, I did normally I don't pick up damaged items, but I did pick up a damaged sash, even if it breaks because it only has durability one of three, you still get that extra roll. 
and so that'll work until I can find something better. Uh, I got the waypoint, but I was hoping to see if there was a unique group over here. But there wasn't, so I'll just head back to town. Blast again. Now this build does use a lot of mana. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to put these points into energy. Especially considering at the moment I'm kind of poor. I definitely want to kill these shamans first now I picked that up separately had my inventory open and then um, picked this up that way I have two stacks, this is just in case I forget to re replenish and run out of one. You can sell them to basically anybody and then buy it back and you'll get your full, you'll get a full attack back. Which is definitely nice. Find all the shamans we can kill them. did make a mistake. I should have been doing this on player one. But oh well, player three is not too bad. Now these formulation potions are actually quite nice. They only take up one, um, one space in your inventory. And you can sell them for a not bad amount of gold. And you can do the same thing with the strangling gas potions. But I'm going to be needing a stack or two of those to actually use. So, once again, into vitality. stuff for some gold. Glad you tried to res resurrect someone over here. Way over this way. Had to make sure to kill everybody down here. Now, throwing knives are worth a good amount of money. You definitely want to pick those up, except for these two ones. They're not actually worth much. Four knives can sell for about 750 gold, 780, somewhere in around there, which is a decent amount of gold. So with Fire Blast, the best way that you're going to want to be using it, I picked up 
is if you have a group, try to toss it in the center. It does have AoE, area of effect, so it will damage whoever's nearby as well. At this point, we will continue into Vitality. We'll be wanting to get to 25 strength shortly, but I'm gonna wait just a few more levels before I do that. So that's done. Now, you, if you have a uh, town portal, you can obviously use it. Or you can just save, exit. Hit enter to continue. Good day. Well, my and of course we have the waypoint already so we can continue to the cold plains but we got some stuff to sell we need some gold so we'll basically just sell everything so like i said it's only taken up one spot but it's selling for 300 gold this one you know, only 84 because it doesn't have as many quantity but that's still a not bad amount of gold especially when you're starting off Oh no, it's 720. Assassin does not need keys to unlock chests. So if it says lock chest, normally you need a key. Unless you're the assassin, you can open it for free. So I don't need keys. Scepters, if they have a plus to sk a skill point, they're worth a not bad amount of gold, 685 in this case for plus one to sacrifice. If it didn't have the plus to sacrifice, it was just damaged undead, socketed, it wouldn't be worth much. But at the moment, can't complain about that amount of gold. At the moment, on our tombs, I'm going to be using mostly skills. Using my fire blast so I don't need the lightning, so I'm going to sell it for the extra gold. Toss it over here. Save the jewel. I'll identify it later. Now with the potions. If you hold shift and right click on your, the potion you want, it will fill up your belt of all the slots that it can with that take the potion, which is really nice. And if you want lots of, um, need lots of potions, take off your sash, put it back on, unless it's broken. I think you can still put it on if it's broken. Either way, and you just hold shift you're full again. This is really nice if you have something that adds even more rows, but I don't think that can be all the pots. 
can also switch over to the old graphics. And buy potions a bit more fast. A little faster. And we got our new skill. Now this time, we're going to put it into Shadow Disciplines. So that way we can go to Claw Mastery. We don't... We're not going to be putting many points into it. Just at one point. But we need it for Burst of Speed, which we get at level 6. This increases your attack speed and your walk speed. Now the important thing to remember is with your traps, those are based on your attack speed. One reason why I went with the dagger, it has the fastest attack speed for the assassin. So the faster you can attack, the faster you lay your traps. So, we continue on. You're going to have a few different path directions to go in the cold plains. I do have videos on map reading, which I have to update uh, soon. But So one of these is going to head to, I believe it's just called the cave. One will lead to the Blood Raven, and one will head to the uh, Stony Field. The cave is useless. I don't even think it's a level 85 area for uh, for hell mode. There's absolutely nothing to do there. Blood Raven, you can kill her. You get a free mercenary. You don't get to pick what type though. You could end up with cold or you could end up with fire. Both are decent at the moment, so there's nothing to worry about there. Or you can wait till you're level 9 and hire a mercenary of your choosing and then Sony field you need to progress so, uh, head up this way Let's see what way it leads kind of random and yes I am passing by monsters I'm mainly looking for champions and uniques it is a big group I'll kill them. But. And at this point, I'm not going to be picking up a whole lot. Just stuff that I know is going to be worth gold or something that I need. So normally, you don't pick up cracked items, but even though these are cracked, you're still going to sell for the exact same amount as a superior one 720 gold. And generally, people don't do Blood Raven. A little bit of experience, but just hire one yourself later on. And mercenaries, especially at low levels, just die so incredibly easy. It's just kind of frustrating at times. It's difficult to keep them alive. Turn here, uh, looking for the waypoint. We'll be wanting to rescue Kane at some point. If you follow the path, you'll come to uh, Rakimishu and to the underground passage. Or if you hold shift and click on a potion, it will put it down into your belt if you have room for it. Skill tree increases your skill point, your the levels of your skills by two points for about 90 seconds, which is quite nice. There's the underground passage, which we'll be going to shortly. But like I said, first I want the waypoint. Now at this point. You grab the experience shrine or keep the skill. I'm gonna stick with skill for a few. 
Stamina gives you unlimited um, uh, stamina for 90 seconds. Which can be nice if you're doing a lot of running like I am at the moment. Wow, two experience shrines. I'm gonna save one of them for when I find Dragon Mishu. Here he is. You can see the outline of this, uh, the stones. That's where my Dragon is gonna be. Good. Really good for experience. But he is lightning enchanted, so be careful. His minions as well are worth experience. Champions and uniques are worth added experience. He's a unique, so he gets 500% experience. And he's two levels ahead of everybody else in this area. Champions, but their name is blue, they are worth 300% experience. Because they're very good for, to pick up and you know, go after. Orbs, if I had food, can be worth some gold. Plus three to warm, maybe worth a couple hundred. level six wow. so if you press W you can switch your your items so for the most part I'm going to be using my dagger because of the increased attack speed but if I'm low on mana or coming up with there's someone who's fire enchanted or um, have any type of resistances for, for fire, I can use my strength and gas potion. Miner give a little bit of mana. All of, oh, here we go. Here's a little point. Well, the light give even more. Uh, so these do 60, these only do 30. Definitely want to keep some of those around. And through all my talking, I did forget to grab my experience train. I'm going to put a TP there, and then I'm going to come back to it later. We can now put a point into burst of speed. Don't forget to assign these to your high keys. By default, I'll be F1 to 8. I, however, changed mine from A to F. If I need more, then I use the Fs. But. And at this point, some more into vitality. Is it going to keep us alive? So, definitely want to keep those. Once again, I do have videos on map reading, so I won't be explaining too much on how to read a lot of these maps. Underground passage, you want to go straight. So, that is what I am going to right to do now I did straight to it Are looking for oh nice 
two-socketed armor and a two-socketed helm. Wow, that was amazing luck. So yeah, we're looking for two of these. If I find some topazes, I can stick that in for some magic find or uh, rubies for health, sapphires for mana. And the armor, I can do the same, or I can save it because at level 17. We can make the room word stealth, which is very really good room word. And now I need a tech right away. I found the tree. Oh, wait. and even more guys. Lightning enchanted mist. These are all on player three at the moment. No burst of speed makes it a little faster. Okay, so one unique guy. We'll want to check out what type they are. Like this one's lightning enchanted. The other guy is uh, extra fast. I need mana. Huh, well, isn't that a lot of fun? It's really good experience, though. Working. Get the scroll. Now I'm gonna save it in for a bit. I need to find the waypoint now. Man, if we charge, as it says, increase the rate at which your stamina regenerates. It does automatically regenerate on its own, but this does increase the rate. As soon as I saw this torch, I knew the waypoint was nearby. Great time. That was a really nice map. <laughs> uh, it won't break. So, so, so. And like I said, plus three to one. Not worth as much as I hope. Gold is gold. So we need a lot of mana. That's it. We can, we can stick that in our helm if we wanted. Uh, with this, but if we need mana or help, I'm gonna save them for now. Point level seven. We will put these points. I'm gonna put them into strength before I forget. We want 25 strength because at some point Charcy is going to sell us a belt with an extra row. I don't think it's yet now. Yeah, we're too early. Now let's throw that in there for now. Now one thing to keep in mind. You can put your gold into your main stash, and when you die, you do, will lose a portion of that gold. Or what you can do, you can put it into your shared stash, which I won't do because I did some editing and I got some gold in there. And when you die, you won't lose that gold. So it's a sneaky little way to keep your gold should you die. But I won't be doing that because that would be cheating only because I'm trying to play untweaked for this place. So, 
I'm gonna put another point in the burst to speed for now. Then I'll head back to my traps. So I'll head back to here. Because I want that experience shrine. And then we run down to our starts. Rescue Kane. And uh, you can get some not bad experience down here. There are a few uniques or champions. Enchanted and he's using holy fire on us. One thing to keep note of, I just lost my experience shrine because I got cursed. They act the same way. So, if you get cursed or you have a shrine active, it will override your, your shrine. However, it also works the other way. If you are cursed, you can use a shrine and I'll get rid of your curse. Assuming it's not a health or a mana shrine. Ten percent faster cast rate, completely useless to us at the moment. Um, it increases the uh, the cast rate of speed or, or uh, burst of speed, sorry. And that's about it. But it's got some lightning guys, so we'll just use it anyways. So, our next point will stick into Fire Blast. And it's back to Vitality. Most of our points are basically going to go to Vitality. I'm going to put a couple into strength at some point. Maybe get it up to 30. I'll be using huge breastplate at level 30. But I think for now I'm just going to stick with the 25. Energy. I might put another point or two into just so I don't use as much mana. But for the most part everything else goes into vitality. Now we're looking for the Black Marsh, which we can follow the path for. Shrines do regenerate generally, uh, except for experience shrines. You can't go back over and over again for those. Oh, Black Marsh. 
we can head to the Kamal Island or Highland, or just the next area, or we need the waypoint and the tower, Forgotten Tower. We're going to be wanting some rooms, so we need the tower. I think we need stealth. Another um, uh, bridge. Another nice rune ward that we wanted to keep an eye out for is leaf. So at some point, another thing we have to do is keep an eye out for a two-socketed staff. Short staff. Um, so at level 19, we can make the leaf rune ward. That will give us plus three to our fire skills, which is what we are using at the moment. So whenever you burst the speed wears off, make sure to turn it back on. You definitely want to go after Jim. Everything's on the other side of the bridge. That's kind of convenient. Oh, once again, next point. Fire blast. And vitality. Yeah, we'll grab do some money. No, the hole has nothing, so we don't need that. And we'll go to skill shrine. You burst to speed to uh, increase the skill because it won't increase your skill until you reactivated it. But he's using the Conviction Aurora, which lowers your resistances. And you can see they're minus 30. You definitely want to be careful around those. So we want to head left down here. There is usually at least one champion or unique group per level. That's something to keep an eye out for. These guys drain your mana. So I'm gonna try and keep some distance from them. Spectral hit. That means he that creature has some resistance to fire all the, all the resistances so be careful around them I can't carry any <coughs> sorry So, and we 
have 9% chance better magic items. again I'll pick up some healing because I'll fill up my healing slot have one with unique stuff it says minion under their name that means you get the uh, 500% experience from them as well which is definitely Rejuvenations will do uh, your mana and your health 35%, and it's instant. It doesn't slowly go up like your other potions do. Five. So we want to make sure we are players one. The reason for this is because the countess will always, pretty much, always drop runes. But the higher your player count is, the increased chance she has to drop in something else, and so it reduces your chance of getting the runes. It's really the only place that affects your boom count, so definitely want to be careful with that. Now minions will stay close to the unique. That's why they came up, but they didn't actually attack me. So you can keep some distance from the main unique, attack and kill and do it unharmed. So I threw up hot at her. Press W. Throw another one. Have her run through it. The killer. save or we can just go to town we only got a tur which I do need for my room work I need a tur ort for Lee Tal F for stealth so I still need three more rooms so we're gonna do another run
star five points to put in the vitality. Burst of speed to run around town. No, I'll replace another one just because this one will do a bit more damage. Not that it really matters, but it's better than having a crack one. Six life, six better magic. Fine, not bad at all. One mana after each kill. Unfortunately, for most traps, this won't work. So for now, I believe it does work with Fire Blast. However, it does not work with Wake of Fire. So we can use this for a short bit, but not for very long. I like got a level and a half, and then I'll stop working. 10 max down, I don't care. So, we do need shop for a staff at some point. It's never where at Akara. We should take a quick look for staffs. Now she does sell long staffs which can have two open sockets. However, the attack speed is slower. So we don't want a long staff, we want a short staff. So take a quick look. She has one. It's 5,600, so I'm not going to buy it yet. I'll see if I can find a cheaper one. You want to make sure, however, that the text is gray. This is just a short staff. You do not want blue text in the name. If it was a mechanics short staff, it wouldn't work. Because it has to be gray. It cannot be a magical item. So if it was a mechanic short staff, it would be magical. Therefore, it would be useless. This would be fine, but it's a tad expensive considering I only have 6,000, so we'll buy it later. Single player, your maps are static, which is quite nice. So your shrines will always be in the same place, and they change. Right now it's an exploding. So we'll sell those for some gold later. Do you want if you were on Battle.net, the maps are random, every new game. So it's a little more difficult to farm the Forgotten Tower. Playing single player does have a couple advantages over playing online. You can change the player count, which I forgot to do, but I'm not gonna do. Not till after I finish Tower of Rooks. Just in case I forget to change it back when I go for the Countess. And your maps are static, which is another really nice thing. But of course you can't play with your friends. Or if you want to duel, you can't do that either. There, 
way too many potions. Since we can see her, we'll toss in our potion. It doesn't stack, so you can't just spam it and kill her. Throw one, wait a moment, then toss your next one, wait a moment. Turd. Oh, we got a towel. Just Okay, so level eleven, another into fire blast and vitality. Take a quick look. Thirteen thousand, even more expensive. <laughs> so this is would be an example. This is a mechanic short staff. It's got one socket. Oh, I'll just pretend it had two sockets. This would not be what we want because it is a mechanic's short staff. Whereas this is just short staff. Six poison damage over three seconds. This does not affect my fire blast. So if I was playing melee, sure it wouldn't be too bad, but I'm not. Let's put my wounds into my stash. to maximum damage. That should be really good. Especially if with a um, car level 3, you're playing level 9 low level duels. That would be really nice to have. But of course single players are just better. But if I want to do some crafting uh, later on, that could be something to use. Use some gold. Now I am a higher level, so I don't need to worry about killing most of the stuff in here unless it's a unique or champion. Especially considering I'm only on player. There's three and a few. Thank you. 
through. Your uniques are basically always be in the same spot. If you're on single player. Javelins are another item to pick up that can be worth a fair amount of gold. Uh, they take up three slots, but you can still sell them for a not bad amount of gold. Again, kill it from here. However, my fire damage should be strong enough to actually kill it now. Yep. Not enough mana. Consider yes. end up doing is just continuing on. The order welcomes you. I'll do one more one. Now, damage taken goes to mana. It makes it sound like when you get hit, it instead of going to your health, eleven percent of that damage would go to your mana. It's not quite the way it works. You still take all the damage to your health, but you will gain some of that as mana. So it doesn't transfer to your mana, it just lets you gain some mana as you take the full damage to your health. Which isn't really too bad, but I kind of want my magic find even though it is only 6. When the maximum damage only affects my melee attacks. So it's completely useless to me. Uh, here we go. 1,000 gold. I don't I'll get any cheaper than that. So we will throw that in here to use later on. Once I get my orb. I still have something I can stick in there, but I kind of want another topaz for now. So, I said one more. One more tower run. Stop picking up some of the potions. Not 
good to get in the habit of using your burst of speed whenever you think it's good about to run out. So, level 12, I now get a new skill. Now get Break of Fire. No, it does use more mana. This, for example, costs 3.8. Break of Fire costs 13, which is a lot. Especially considering we only have 50 mana to begin with. So, end energy. Now, it does take a second to actually work once you cast it. It does do its little turny thing before it finally starts actually attacking. It also does have next hit delay. So, what that means. When something has next hit delay, it means that it can't be harmed by something else that has next hit delay. Another skill. So, you only want to lay two wake of fire at a time because if you flood the screen with wake of fires it's not actually going to do all that much damage because it can only hit one enemy not enough mana. so when you get hit by each wave and then she's just being hit a whole bunch she's not actually going to be taking all that damage One thing that you can do, you use Break of Fire, and then you use Fire Blast. Fire Blast does not have next hit delay. I still can't get it. So, it will take the full damage from Break of Fire and Fire Blast. didn't get end up getting the runes I was hoping for. Which kinda sucks. But I'm not gonna continue farming the cactus. I'm just gonna continue on our way. Come 
such anyway. corruption in this place. Oh, question. Well, then they seem to vote. Fire blast. Yeah, just lie it and you walk away. So in here, we are looking for the Malice, and this there's the next area. He's got a lot of hit points, so I'm not actually going to bother killing him. He just, he just takes too long. Not enough of a reward. Grab the malice and run away. Me, so level one, we got our uh, the waypoint to the left, and then level two, which is straight. So I there's just uh, I don't need the waypoint. I'm straight to get to the next area. seem to be losing more and more frames. Hopefully it's not too too bad.
level 30. I'm still at phase one. So all these creatures that are already spawned will all be players one still. It won't be until I meet creatures that between 1.5 and 2 screens away they haven't actually rendered yet they will be at players 3 so continuing to break the fire and vitality Gonna be some backwards now. However, this section is. These, uh, a room like this, where it'll be a rectangular room in the jails. Get some really good experience from these guys. Especially when they're filled with the fallen dudes. Really good experience. You can get close to a waypoint on level one. It's a jail setup. That's what everybody wants. Okay, now they're just what the next level. Could it be that there? around over here. There we go. That was a long map. I knew it would be facing over in this direction, but... area in here got your waypoint Often a champion or a unique group in here. Besides that quarter the guy that we don't want. But you can actually farm experience here at times, but it's like you can this time. Oh, yep, a holy freeze. So we want to keep our distance from him. Okay, there, Bone Ash. He is generally not worth killing. I don't like down here. 
frames missed due to render and lag. 15,658. 10.1%. That's horrible. So when you have shadows like this, it can either be a shaman or a champion unique boss group. I'm gonna go with shaman though. Yep. This map, a head level two, and a random. These head dogs are wandering around. Learn to read the map to find out if you're heading in the right direction or not. That was a dead end. When you see this tile here, this means there's a champion or boss group. And we got champions. I, need money. I should put them on to my Helen. You're way down there. Due to my computer having problems, I might just do normal. Like my computer's gonna need to be rebooted again before I can continue. We'll just put it at TP. We are looking for the level 2, or sorry, level 3 and the waypoint. Waypoint's helpful if you want to uh, the farm and aerial. Once again, this level is random, but if you find the waypoint first, the stairs are to the right. If you find the stairs first, the waypoint is to the left. I already need the waypoint. Now it's again random. I need more. Oh, fire enchanted on the mother. Don't scare. These guys have so much health.
Which I'm gonna buy more mana potions. However, I am also going to buy antidote potions. Mm -hmm. Some. So antidote potions do stack. They're 30 seconds each. I like to overstack just in case I have issues. And so I have 50% Poison, which I don't think I really had poison I produced. Yeah, nothing that adds to my poison, so it, it gave me 50% poison resistance. Definitely can't complain too much about that. I should have checked Charcy, however, for a better belt. But And I made a huge mistake. I'm on players three. Make sure to spawn on players one. That just helped. Um, yeah, I'm on players three. So it does go to show just how powerful uh, Wake Up Fire can be. I am out of potions. It becomes you, Andario. Previously, and previously, after you killed Enduriel, you had to go right to Act Two to bug Enduriel. You don't have to do that anymore. And that is normal. Er, sorry, normal act one. So, and uh, wake up fire. I'm gonna put it in energy just so I have a bit more mana. 63 to 72 gave me 9 mana. It's not too bad. However, I'm gonna have to stop here for now. Try doing a reboot and continue an act two afterwards. But 
I'll just do a quick recap. So with my I weapon, I went with a dagger because it has faster attack than the katars or other anything else that you get at the moment. Very good weapon to use, but you can only you can't dual wield. Doesn't matter because I'm throwing traps. My helm, I got a two socket helm. I was hoping for another topaz just so I could get some added magic finds, but haven't found that. Amulet, six to life with magic find. I did find my two socket armor, which I'll be using for stealth, which unfortunately I haven't found the runes for. I've only found the towel. Gloves, just one to strength. Faster cast rate, which does me no good, but I got my seven lightning resist, which will come in very handy here. If you need it, it's more lightning resist. Poison I produced. I was just added for the extra slot. One man after each kill, which does not work with traps. Well, on swap, I have a straggling gas potion, which I'll upgrade to choking gas potions as soon as I can find them. Uh, skills. I have one point in the claw, that way I can get first to speed. I will put in another couple into it shortly. But I wanted to get my traps up a bit more. To level 8 uh, Fire Blast. Which of course is a synergy. They both synergize each other. For Wake of Fire. Which I have at level 4. Which killed Andy Players 3 rather easily. I could be playing on a higher difficulty, but I figure 3 is just a good baseline. I did shop a uh, short staff, two socketed short staff, and I found my tur rune for it, just looking for my ort, then I have leaf which I can use at level 19, for my armor, I found my towel, just need my Ith so I can make my stealth, which I can use at level 15. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the Act 2 part of this video. And hopefully, I will have less frames dropped. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video.